Hi students, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about gesture drawing and give you an example. If you can get a model who is a living creature um, for practice, that would be awesome. Today my daughter is helping me by posing as my model. And so I'm going to show you step by step some of the things you can do to do a good gesture drawing. So the point of a gesture is to go quickly and to try to capture the overall sense of movement and energy of your subject without getting bogged down in the details. So to start off, I'm looking at my daughter. She's sitting on the bed right now. And one of the major movements that I see in her pose is the line of her back going up through the head, through the torso, and then the line of her legs. So if I had to break her pose down, it would basically be an L, right? So that would be like the major movement lines running through the form, and we call that line the axis line. So the axis line of her pose is this shape of an L. So then just to build up onto this idea of the skeleton to give this drawing a little bit more structure, I'm gonna look for some of the other lines of movement that I see in her body and I'm gonna imagine those lines running through the form instead of, hey, you gotta keep your pose, dude. You gotta stay the same. Instead of just going around the edge. So you can see like arms there, um, two legs, just kind of lines for the feet right now. And you probably noticed that I was starting with the interior part of the body, the core, and then moving out from that into like head and arms and legs, instead of starting with that and working my way down. So then the next step with gesture drawing is to start to look for important edges. And as you do that, you wanna to try to keep your line continuous and really fluid, right? So instead of getting stop, start, stop, start, you try to do this drawing as one long continuous flow. It will help you go faster and it will actually help you record more too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to find some of those important edges that I see in her pose, um, the edges of her arms, her hands. I just see part of this back arm, right? Cause her body's overlapping. That. So I'm only drawing what I see, really. I'm not trying to like make up any aspects of this that I don't actually see in the pose. If elements of it are blocked um, in your view, then you don't draw it, right? And one of the other things that I'm doing here is I'm trying to draw really quickly and really observationally, right? So I'm not really um, looking at my paper for a long time. I'm trying to mostly look at my model. And as I'm noticing, as I'm kind of building up this drawing more, I'm realizing I gave her like adult length legs. <laughs> so her legs are quite a bit shorter than um, what I drew originally. So I will just change the length of them without necessarily having to erase or really like deal with the lines that are already there. You just leave them, right? You just leave them. Gesture's meant to be fast, it's meant to be quick. And you can probably note that the lines that I'm using are very um, fast, scribbly, and very continuous. So that's something for you guys to try as well.